Hello, Gamer Gnome is back. And in this video, I am going to show you the possible requirements on how to unlock Superhuman V2 in this upcoming update. Where the actor slam. Oh, there he is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dump. Okay, guys, so before I show you the possible requirements on how to unlock Superhuman V2, let me first show you how good the Superhuman fight style is. Did you know that you can use this fight side to travel faster? Just by using your Z and C skill, you can travel faster. Even use its skills to chase for enemies or go to higher places. Just like this area, the one that you need to activate when summoning Indra. And yes, we are going to summon Indra since we have the God's Chalice. And we're gonna defeat him solo using the Buddha Fruit and Yes, you guessed it right, the superhuman. So as you can see, the M1 or the left click of it is really good. But the problem here is when you combo it with the Buddha Fruit, it's hard to hit the Z skill. So I suggest just focus on using your left clicks. There you go. And yes, we can defeat Indra solo with this one. So guys, I think this is really good. So for the requirement, I think you need at least 400 to 500 mastery on the superhuman. Yes, guys. Again, I'm gonna repeat. Unlock superhuman, mastery 400 to 500. Gamer Nom, are you sure of it? Not yet, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, moving on. Aside from the superhuman fight style, we have Foyu here. <laughs> the NPC who is responsible for teaching you the death step. So how can you get the death step, guys? And the second C, you need to get the library key from the Awakened Ice Admiral. Here it is. Gamer can you get it at level 700? Yes. Already tried that. Open the door and there you go. So aside from that, 400 in the dark step. Plus 2.5 million bellies and 5,000 shards. Okay? So that's the requirement to unlock this one, guys. You need the death step to unlock Superhuman V2. Okay? So let's try it out. It has four skills. The rocket kick, the wind bullet, and the vermilion drill. Let's not forget the V-Skill, the Devil Flame. So this will increase the damage of all your three skills. Oh, as well as the left click. Guys, tips on how to increase the mastery. Because as you can see, I already have 600 mastery here. For Logia Fruit users, Elemental Fruit users, head to the Sea of Treats and defeat Peanut Scouts. Okay, that's the highest level of mob without hacking. Okay, there you go guys. Did you see that? The Devil's Flames. Once you activate that skill... All of your other skills will increase in damage as well as your left clicks. Okay, Gamer Nom, so are you sure that you will need this fight style in order to unlock Superhuman V2? Guys, I'm quite sure, okay? So make sure to unlock this one. For our next requirement, it is located in the Floating Turtle, guys. It is here. Another fight style, yes. So that fight style is the Electric Claw from the previous hero. So it's easy to unlock. You need... 400 master on electric and you need to finish its quest the 30 seconds yes from here you need to go to the mansion someone asked me gamer no do you need to go back to the previous hero no guys that is not included with the time as long as you reach the mansion and that's it if you want you can just go back tomorrow <laughs> for those asking this will cost you 3 million bellies and 5,000 fragments okay is it worth it gamer no yes it's worth it it has three skills one of the best uh, fight styles for doing PvP. Okay, so maybe I'll try to make a video out of that soon. Guys, take note, you need 400 to 500 mastery on Electric Claw. I think this will be the requirement for you to unlock the Superhuman V2. So Gamer Nom, how do I increase the mastery fast? Guys, you cannot use the technique uh, Logia Elemental Fruit here because when you attack using the Electric Claw, your character will launch forward. So if you do AFK with Auto Clicker, guys, that won't be possible. But don't worry, I was able to find a technique on how to AFK grind. Yes, AFK grind using the Auto Clicker for this fight style. Here is my tip for faster mastery. So as you can see, every time you use your left click, it will launch forward, right? And even if you have Logia Fruit, it will launch forward and you cannot do AFK grind. So guys, use Buddha instead. If you transform, your character will not launch forward, which means you can stay in one area. You can do AFK grind, okay? 
Okay, so that's my technique. Again, 400 to 500 mastery in electric claw is one of the requirements. Okay, we're not very sure of that. The range of mastery is yes. Also, the fight style, I'm quite sure. Okay, so next up, another requirement is this fight style. From Digrak, the Sharkman, yes, you also need the Sharkman Karate. So how do you unlock this? First, you need 400 mastery in Water Kung Fu, and you need the Water Key, okay? From the Tide Keeper, and that's it. You can buy it for 3 million bellies and 5,000 shards in the Forgotten Island. I say I haven't tried it if you can buy it in the Third Sea. So if you can, comment it in the comment section. So let's try it, guys. It has three skills. The 12 water palms and the pressure vortex as well as the great sea spear this fight style really has a fast m1 gamer no is there a tip for faster mastery with this fight style because again you need 400 to 500 mastery yes you can use an elemental fruit logia effect sea of treats peanut scouts okay afk use auto clicker and that's it we are almost done for our final requirement fight style again another fight style Located in the Haunted Castle is the NPC Yuzoth. He is here. And for the requirements, you need Fire Essence from the Death King. There's only a slight chance that you will get it. So this is for me one of the hardest fight styles to unlock. There you go. Fire Essence. After that, 3 million bellies and 5,000 shards. Okay. Oh, let's not forget 400 Mastery on the Dragon Breath. There you go, guys. Sad to say, you also need 500, maybe 400 to 500 mastery on Dragon Talon as a requirement for Superhuman V2. Okay, and just like the Electric Claw, when you use this uh, fight style, you will launch forward when you attack. So, gamer, now what is the strategy, guys? Same strategy with the Electric Claw tip for the mastery again when you use your m1 left clicks with the dragon talon you will launch forward so you can use buddha fruit and use your left clicks you will not launch forward guys whether it be awakened or unawakened buddha z skill transform it's fine as you can see you can stay in one area you can afk if you want you can still grind your mastery okay so let me summarize all the requirements needed First, you need 400 to 500 mastery on Superhuman, Death Step, Sharkman Karate, Electric Claw, and Dragon Talon. Next, you need 4 to 5 million bellies to get the Superhuman V2. And last but not the least, 5,000 to 8,000 shards to unlock it. Okay guys, so if you think that that's correct, comment it in the comment section. If you think there are other requirements to unlock the Superhuman V2 this coming update, comment it in the comment section and let's talk about it, okay? So I think that's it. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is GamerNom and GamerNom out.